Replacing a Heisman winning quarterback is a daunting task and that's exactly what USC is trying to do right now. Caleb Williams is gone to the NFL so who will be the next man up? for Lincoln Riley and that incredible offense. The good thing is that the Trojans have two great options. First of all, Miller Moss. I already made a full video about him. After you watch this one, go check it out. Link in description. Second, the Mountain West Freshman of the Year, UNLV transfer Jaden Mayava, who experts are comparing to the next Caleb Williams. I am serious. Many of you may be unfamiliar with Mayava, and that's why I'm here to tell you his entire story. And if you are a sad UNLV fan, I got your back. I also made a video about your star wide receiver, Ricky White. That is in the description as well. If you don't know who I am, I'm Saturday Shenanigans, and I post amazing college football content all off season. To keep you guys entertained, feel free to subscribe so you never miss out on another upload. Jaden Maiava was born in Honolulu, Hawaii, and his childhood was jam-packed. He had seven siblings. They all played sports. They were highly competitive. And speaking of athleticism, his uncle, Kaluka Maiava, played at USC from 2005 to 2008, so he was bound to be a Trojan. However, this story starts way before that. Jaden's high school career was very unorthodox as he played with three different schools. First in 2018, he started with Sierra Vista High School in Las Vegas, Nevada. Then before the 2019 season, he transferred back to the state of Hawaii at Kaimuki High School. He threw for 3,317 yards with 41 touchdowns, and this really put him on the map. He knew he wanted to play tougher competition to prepare himself for the college level. So in 2021, his senior season, he transferred to Liberty High School in Henderson, Nevada. He threw for over 2,000 yards, 24 touchdowns, and led his team to the state title game. He was named as first team all league, and all of the hard work from the last four years of high school paid off. He was a three-star recruit, according to 24-7 Sports, and the number 12 rated quarterback in the state of Nevada. This earned him D1 offers from schools like Minnesota, Cal, Auburn, Louisville, and of course, the hometown team, the UNLV Running Rebels. He decided to take the short trip just down the road and commit to UNLV to play for the 2022 season. This may have been big for Mayava and his family, but this was honestly bigger for the UNLV Running Rebels who were coming off a 2-10 season in 2021. Mayava was the highest ranked committed QB recruit in their school history. And as Mayava could have gone to a team that was much better on the field, he was taking a big bet with UNLV but it paid off. He redshirted during the 2022 season, but he had a lot to be proud about because UNLV looked much better. They went five and seven, and there was a lot of hope going into 2023. But there was one problem in Las Vegas. Head coach Marcus Arroyo was leaving. He took over the job as offensive coordinator for Arizona State, and a new head coach was coming in, and his name was Barry Odom. Would the Rebs be able to compete in the Mountain West with a brand new coach and an uncertain quarterback situation? The answer is a resounding yes, and they did it behind incredible redshirt freshman quarterback, Jaden Maiava. But it didn't always look that way because in the first game of the season on September 2nd against Bryant, Maiava was sitting on the bench as he was the number two quarterback behind Doug Brumfield, the starter. But after Brumfield got injured in game three against Vanderbilt, Maiava led UNLV to a crazy comeback win, throwing for 261 yards with two touchdowns. And the rest was history from that point on. Jaden was the starter for the UNLV Rebels. The next four games where he started, they all one and at one point UNLV was six and one on the season. He was showing flashes of electricity on his field with his unreal arm strength and his legs that never stopped moving. He was always able to escape pressure and he reminded people a lot of a guy we'll talk about later in this video. The maturity that he showed in his first couple starts impressed the coaching staff, Rebels fans, and fans around the country. Mayava led his team to a 9-3 regular season record, the best season for UNLV since 1984, and a spot in the Mountain West Championship game no no one, and I mean no one saw this coming. Although UNLV lost the Mountain West title game to Boise State and had a disappointing finish losing to a great Kansas team in their bowl, it was evident the talent of young quarterback Jaden Maiava was there. Although he only ended the season with 17 touchdowns to 10 interceptions, which is not great on paper, you have to remember a few things. First, Jaden was moved a lot by opposing defensive lines. He had multiple games where he took more than two sacks. Second, was UNLV the most QB friendly offense? I can't say yes to that. So you have the talent like this. Other schools around the country obviously see it. You're at a group of five teams. Do you look 
for a place that could suit you better. In Mayava's case, yes, because he entered the transfer portal after the conclusion of the 2023 season. Now, this is where the story gets rocky, and this might be the reason that you know of Jaden Mayava in the first place. On January 8th of 2024, he committed to transferring to the Georgia Bulldogs, most likely sitting behind Carson Beck for a season, learning for him as he's in the Heisman race, and then taking over the reins for the Bulldogs in the 2025 season. But then just a day later, on January 9th, he flips his commitment from Georgia to USC, and this turned the college football world upside down. There's nothing wrong with decommitting from a college program. It could have stemmed from personal reasons, but doing it in a day and transferring your commitment is not something that we see often and that's why people were so confused. But the underlying story about all of this is the fact that Mayava will be in a real QB competition at USC as opposed to Georgia. With Heisman quarterback Caleb Williams leaving for the NFL draft, also while USC is going into a new conference, the Big Ten, it has never been more pivotal for Lincoln Riley to find that next man up. Riley has been known to be one of the most quarterback-friendly coaches in all of college football, so is this the perfect situation for Jaden Maiava. But first, he's going to need to beat out Miller Moss for that starting job. Miller Moss is another great quarterback. He showed out in the Holiday Bowl game, giving USC fans hopefully a glimpse of the future. I actually made a whole story video about Miller Moss. Feel free to check it out after you watch this one. At this point, just three days out from the USC spring game, it is neck and neck. It is 50-50, and no one knows who's going to start next year for the Trojans. But there have been rumblings coming out of the USC spring camp that Jaden Maiava has been lighting it up. According to college football expert David Ubbin of The Athletic, he said Mayava reminds him of Caleb Williams in the way he plays and his ceiling. Either way, USC's in a great spot for their quarterback. If Miller Moss starts, that means a year of development for Mayava before he hopefully takes over in 2025. And if Mayava really is that guy and has that potential, he'll come out next year in 2024 and do his thing. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Go in the comments right now and let me know what's going to happen with this USC quarterback situation. I've been Saturday Shenanigans, your home for unfiltered college football content, and I'll see you guys soon.